Come on in. Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am here for a really fun and fantastic presentation. Uh, you can always find me at TTTRV on YouTube or at RVs Inside Out that will have all of my personal videos. Uh, we do three videos a day. You can reach me at 303-562-8659. Uh, those three videos are both uh, RV, truck and trailer, five days a week. Uh, so all 15 of those videos are going to be broadcast live on Facebook. Uh, so right now this is a live video. If you've got any questions, all the information regarding both of these RVs is down below. Uh, we're looking at stock number 5N220656. Again, 5N220656. This is a 24V Navion. And then we'll also be looking at 5N220319, which is a 24D. So this is going to be a compare and contrast. Maybe a little less tech spec. Uh, we've got some fantastic technologists out there. This is more about function. How does this bedroom work? How does the bathroom work? What's different between a V and a D? Uh, we'll also follow this up with a 24J versus V video so you can compare those. Um, just a lot of fun to kind of show you which floor plans might work best for your family. Uh, so first of all, one of the things that's nice about this 24V is that you have this really huge bedroom. Um, this cushion actually fits here in the center uh, when I bring out this, this little extender. Uh, so this doesn't have to be a step. This can actually become an entire bed. And I did bring my uh, measuring tape for you because it's really important to understand how incredibly huge all of this sleeping room is. So first of all, each of these twins is going to be just about 32 inches uh, across as opposed to the typical 30 that we see in a lot of the bunks. Uh, so a little more generous there. And then in terms of overall length, we are looking at a total of 77 inches long. So really, really long for those that are you or that are a little bit taller, really fantastic. But even more so, the, the entire width of this RV um, on the interior from this bed standpoint is all the way down to 87 inches. So it's 87 inches across. Um, it just gives you a ton of room. Uh, another thing that's really nice about this is going to be hanging space. So let's just take a look at some of these cabinets. So first of all, you'll see our table here, and I'll show you where that goes in a little bit, but look at all of that hanging space. So nice. As you can see, the, ca the table stows very conveniently uh, away to the side. And uh, I want to just point out, you'll see there's a hook here, but also there's a hook up here. You might be wondering what that's for. You can actually hang a dividing curtain here so that you can have separation from this space in the front to the space in the back. Um, another really great feature um, about this Winnebago in particular is going to be all of the storage space back here. So very consecutive, very large storage space. This would be a fantastic RV uh, for a couple with maybe some grandchildren. As you can see here, we've got these magnificent shades. You'll find this echoed throughout the entire Navion product line. Um, one of the things that's really nice about them is when I pull them down, they open and let light in. I can also open these windows. So on the 24V, you've got windows that open on both sides so you can have cross ventilation, which is super nice on a hot day, and still have your screen up, screen down, and keep the bugs out. So we love that. Also, you'll notice these very handy uh, metal boxes up top. These are very conveniently po uh, positioned next to your two USB ports, your 9-volt and your two 110s, as well as your reading light. Great place to keep a novel, uh, your phone, your wallet perhaps, maybe your sunglasses, anything that's yours that you want to keep uh, set aside so that it doesn't get lost in the shuffle of camping. Um, and then above us we have again more storage space. So great, great storage in this 24V. Uh, the 24D and the 24V are my favorites because of the sleeping accommodations. Uh, the J is also very popular. It's a non-slide model so I wanted to show the two slide models next to each other. Uh, we had a 24G in the past that had the slide that came out the back. We no longer manufacture that product. So the 24V, the 24J, and the 24D are the three Navions available currently. Um, these two models that we're looking at today are the two that have the slide outs that I wanted to show you, kind of how those would impact living spaces. One of the things that's nice about the V is if you wanted to be able to camp without putting your slide out, this, this vehicle is set up so that it might be a little more uh, crowded in the galley, but you'd still be able to camp without putting your slide out. So if you're stopping, for instance, you know, 
at a Walmart parking lot overnight. Maybe you're making a quick footprint in a friend's, you know, neighborhood. Whatever it might be, you know, on your way to your next camping destination, this RV would be very good because of the fact that you don't need to put the slide out to have the full uh, sleeping capacity, not only here, but also above the cab. Uh, so we'll just take a look right here um, above this television. You'll see there's a few different things going on in here. Some of our different supplies, but also this is that curtain that we mentioned that would separate. And then below that, you'll notice that we have another television. So there's two uh, televisions in this model, and that's for someone who maybe wants to curl up and watch a movie at night. This is an important feature. And then back in the left-hand corner against this window, we also have another nice mesh wire box that will hold your wallets and such. Again, two more outlets for USB, two more 110s, another 9-volt, and another reading light. So his and hers, if you will. Um, and then below us, we have drawer storage. So that's really, really fantastic. Um, and you've got his and hers again, so both uh, couples would be able to have full extension drawers. Uh, you can put, stow things all the way back. And then again, you can always pull this uh, out and put your cushion in place and have a full bed. If you don't have that set, then you have this little mat here, which goes right here below. And that's just to kind of mirror the floor that you see throughout the coach. So really, really cool setup. Um, let's go ahead and move into the bathroom next. Jody, I think that we're going to have to be creative. I'm going to come, I think I'm going to come there and, let, and open the door for you and let you go on the other side. There we go. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Jody, he is the most fantastic cameraman any girl could ever hope for. Um, one of the things that's so nice about him is he uh, tolerates all of our whimsies, like going, hey, I know it's Monday, but we're going to go ahead and do two RVs instead of one. Um, <laughs> So really nice little medicine cabinet here. Uh, you can take a tissue box and put it face down and actually have a tissue dispenser here. Pretty cool. Um, you know, Winnebago makes 75% of their own product. So for instance, these cabinets, uh, these walls, uh, so much of the RV itself is actually manufactured at Winnebago. And what it does is it allows us to have things like these showers, which are really specifically laid out to give us the maximum amount of room. Um, so you'll notice that we have a hanging rod here. Of course, this would not be uh, necessary to have in place, but you think about it. So you could take this out during your shower, but if you wanted to put it back in place and hang your towels, maybe your wet bathing suits, anything along those lines while you're camping, you know, cause, I mean, what do you do with a wet swimsuit? You know, we've got four of them, five of them at the time that we've got to hang somewhere. Well, why not hang them here in the shower, close the shower door. You don't have to worry about anything um, dripping all over the floor. Over here on the right hand side, you'll see we've got some other really nice features like our toilet paper, toilet paper dispenser, as well as another uh, pull out spray off shower head. So if you wanted to be able to spray your feet off, you could do that as well. And then a nice little washcloth holder here. That's what that W is. Uh, also for Winnebago, of course. And then we have our fan. So of course you've got a little bit of fresh air available to you if necessary in the loo. And then some more storage here underneath. And you know, just a really great, simple design. Um, so this is actually um, the coach that has less of this white finish. So this really beautiful white finish you'll find inlaid throughout the RV. I'm showing you the harmonious and the harmony interior today, uh, just to showcase some of the differences. Um, I also really like the fact that we've got a nice stainless steel uh, bowl here. So very easy to clean. It's not gonna stain. And the faucets, of course, are really, really nice, modern looking faucets. Um, so back to the discussion of decor. So the decor in this coach is called Harmonious. And so what that means, Harmonious has the Columbian walnut throughout. Jody, if you want to just take a quick zoom in on this picture. Um, so in the next coach that we'll look at in the 24D, it won't be the Harmonious interior with the, with the Columbian walnut throughout. It will be the, uh, the Harmony interior, which has the Columbian walnut and then the white high gloss. So the white high gloss that you see in this coach is uh, still present, it's just a little bit less than if you were to choose uh, the harmonious or the harmony interior. So um, now one of the things that really differentiates this coach, of course, from others is the fact that we've got such a nice microwave. Go ahead and show you the interior here. And then I'm also going to lift up this cabinet here and show you kind of all of our things that we've got going on. So we're going to have two solar panels on the top of each of these RVs that are 100 watt solar panels. We're going to have a 2000 uh, amp inverter or 2000 watt inverter on both of them. Um, you'll notice that we have our slide room controls here in the center. 
Um, and then of course we have our holding tank heater. So if you are camping somewhere, it's a little bit cooler, you can do that. And then this uh, coach is all, both of these RVs are actually um, equipped with the optional 3.2 liter quiet own and diesel generator. And both will have the same refrigerator as well. This Norcold is really, really nice and spacious. Um, for those of you on the, uh, maybe on the fence between a Bolt and uh, a Rebel and a Navion, this is certainly one of the reasons you would consider the Navion product. Look at all of this refrigeration. Um, really, really big deal. So we love that Norcold. Um, another nice feature. Oh, I better grab my clipboard because I'm not going to come back here. Um, another nice feature of uh, this RV, I would say, is the drawer space and counter space. And that's going to be in throughout the entire Navion product line. Um, so look at how big these doors are. Super deep, full extension doors. Once again, um, Winnebago makes a majority of this product, so they can really kind of specialize everything to fit um, into the spaces the best. They also do things um, that are really interesting. So if you've RV'd for a long time, you know how nice it is to have a stainless steel kick plate here so that you can go ahead and you know you don't have to worry about splatter. The other thing that they've done is they've given you both this true induction which is really a fantastic much more precise um, much qu quicker to heat um, level of heat uh, or I'm sorry of cooking um, but you know when you're camping if you don't want to run your generator uh, maybe it's after hours and you need to be able to still you know heat up a pot of uh, you know water for maybe a late night cup of tea you also have your propane uh, burner here as well. So another nice feature, of course, once again, windows that open, a screen that comes down, or a shade that comes up, because this coach is also set so that you can have uh, folks not only sleeping in the back, but in the in, or in the back, but also in the front. Uh, before I close this door, Jody, I want to just show off another great thought. You know, where do you put your towels? Um, I actually still struggle with that on my 40-foot Numar Superstar, so uh, just really nice to have a towel rack there. And you'll see here, this is our walking space. Um, I will show both coaches closed up, but you can actually get back here into this bedroom and into this bathroom with the coach closed up while you're in motion. This would be another reason to consider uh, an RV over a travel trailer, for instance. Um, so now towards the front of the galley, I want to just show off a little bit more of our under counter space. This is an insane amount of storage room here. Um, if you're handy with uh, stackable crates, you could really put so much stuff down here. Uh, it's just really fantastic. You can have all the paper towels, batteries, things that you would need while you're on the road. And then on top of it, we've got another television here with a sound bar. And I also like some of the things that, that uh, Winnebago is able to do because of the fact that they're manufacturing, once again, their own product, like these really cool cutting boards like how nice is this so not only do you have a stainless steel dual basin sink with a residential style faucet with both spray and pour you also have really nice bamboo cutting boards that fit over that area giving you even more counter space now let's again talk about counter space so counter space here with these covers on you're looking at 31 inches long and then at the high at the deepest point about 23 inches deep at the shallowest point, about 21 and a half. Um, but so really, really nice counter space for somebody who's in a tight, uh, tight spot. And one of the things that you know you get in terms of a benefit um, when you buy a Navion is you get a much shorter coach than you would find in um, a lot of the other RVs that are out there on the market. So let's just talk briefly about the length. All three of the coaches that, Nav that Navion uh, currently manufactures, the 24D, the J, and the V, are all 25 feet, 6 inches long. They are all 11 feet tall. Uh, the interior uh, width is 7 feet, 6 inches. And the storage between the 24D and the 24V are both very similar. I'm going to have the bay doors open when we walk outside. The 24V that we're in has 3 feet more at 33.6 cubic feet versus the D at 30. Uh, the 24J has the most storage. It has 43 feet. It also has the largest freshwater tank. Uh, the freshwater on both these of these coaches is within a gallon. The 24V that we are in currently has a 31 gallon freshwater tank. The 24D has a 30 gallon freshwater tank. And all three coaches will have a 41 gallon black water tank and a 41 gallon gray water tank. They will all also have a 24.5 gallon fuel capacity 
and these are all going to be running on the Mercedes-Benz 3.0 TDI uh, turbo diesel injected engine. Um, just a great engine, tried and true. Of course, that's why Amazon uh, buys all of them. Um, on that note, good, good time to maybe segue into something that's important to understand. I have a lot of Navions available currently, and the reason that is is, um, well, first of all, we could not get Mercedes chassis for quite some time. Uh, you know, Amazon, uh, all of FedEx, all the delivery, you know, routes, you know, plumbers, I mean, whoever, whoever it might be, there's just such a high demand for Mercedes uh, vans. Uh, it was really tough for us to get a hold of them. And so what, what, what Winnebago tends to do, and what they're doing currently is they stockpile chassis where they'll get a whole bunch so that they can go through a production line smoothly. So in other words, you don't want to only have one or two chassis and have, you know, one or two RVs built a day. You want to be able to build a consecutive number. Uh, so currently, we are having a pretty strong shortage of the chassis that we would use for the Echo. So the Echo is built on the Ford Transit chassis as opposed to the Mercedes chassis. So what they've been doing is they've actually been um, completely offline with Echo and building nothing but Navions. So if you see that there are quite a few Navions available and you're thinking, oh wow, the RV recession has ended and there's this abundant supply of RVs and I can just come down and pick one and get whatever I want. Don't be fooled. Um, what we've done is we've taken our complete uh, assembly line on that C-Class and removed Echo uh, manufacturing for the last several months. And now that we've got a few hundred chassis set aside and we're ready to go back into manufacturing, you'll start to see that normal production line come up and you'll have that same wait time that you do for a custom ordered Navion. So while you're still able to get one um, pretty readily, we, I've got 24 Vs, 24 Ds, 24 Js, all in inventory available for sale. Please reach out and uh, let me know what you're interested in, what kind of questions I can provide to you. We would happily be very transparent in pricing as well. Uh, but do understand that that is going to be somewhat of an anomaly in the marketplace because of that production line run. Okay, so some other things to talk about. Uh, this, uh, this coach that we're standing in is going to be the Mineral 2 full body paint. The one that is next door is the Bay Mist full body paint. Uh, we also have another full body paint called Tuscan very very rich looking and then stellar is a very nice coach if you'd like to save that paint option it's a little over eight thousand dollars for full body paint uh, but it does come with decals you will notice that there certainly is much more longevity in a full body paint appearance um, they just don't tend to fade as much uh, the other thing i wanted to just cover briefly is some of these dimensions so the shower in this rv is 19 by 28 by 34. So as you can see, it's a little bit of a, an uneven shape because they've got to kind of get it into that little area. Once again, something that Winnebago is able to do because of their manufacturing. Uh, the other one is 24 by 32. So very, very similar uh, shower sizes uh, in the two units. I also wanted to show, this is a great demonstration of a full wall slide on the 24D, which is a unit that we're about to go into, versus the single wall, or the, the half wall slide here on the 24V. So one of the things that's nice about this half wall slide um, is that if it's not out, you can still function within the coach. Uh, the 24D, you really need to have out to have that larger bed uh, available to you. Um, so uh, this does not come with a booth dinette. If you would like to have either the recliners uh, or in this case, the couch, these are both optional. Um, there's the table can go here. Uh, I know you saw that in the back in the, in the cupboard. Uh, so you could both eat here. The table can also go here. Uh, these seats turn around. Uh, these little cushions that you find floating around in all of the Navions that you've looked at when you've gone into dealerships or maybe seen them in videos, these go on the seat here so that when it's turned around, you're going to be at that same um, butt height as you are on the couch. So everyone's got the same kind of table height. That's why they have those cushions. Um, and these are, of course, uh, really nice. Uh, they've got door controls for the um, for moving back and forth as well as power tilt. They're memory programmable. Um, they're just, it's a really, really nice uh, seat offered by Mercedes-Benz. And then I have this deployed so that it's all the way down. Um, so you're gonna have bunk over cab in all three models. And one of the things that's really nice, and I know that they give you measurements, but it's just nice to see them done with a tape measure. So right here to the end, I'm right at about 51 inches in terms of overall depth. That is more than four feet. Um, I also have windows above, so the kids are going to be able to be comfortable up here. They can also, um, how shall we say, uh, kind of hibernate and get up here with their phones and hang out for a while because there are, uh, again, uh, two 110 outlets and two USB ports. 
So this is just about 87 inches across. Um, so really, really, really good coverage here. And then this just very simply moves up and out of the way. Uh, the ladder stows right here. The curtains are right here. As you can see, the snap covers are right here. Um, one of the things I do like about this, and I think it's so cute, is Winnebago takes the time to put this little, little van in the trees up on the etching. And I just think it really just goes to show um, how much attention to detail goes into the manufacturing of these RVs. And it's just important to understand. So when you have a piece like this, this plastic piece, you can't just call someone up and say, hey, can you get me that piece that I need to hold up my table? I'd like it to be about X, Y, Z without having to spend a lot of extra cash. So what Winnebago does is they manufacture their plastics. They manufacture their steel. They manufacture their aluminum. Um, they have an e-coat system that is designed to help this coach from corrosion, uh, which is incredible. And they've spent, you know, tens and tens of thousands of dollars on these different um, manufacturing things. But when they, what they've done is they've created uh, a product that can be very cost effective in the marketplace at a much higher caliber of quality. And it's just important to understand that when you do sign up to buy a Winnebago, you are buying a product that is made better than any other small RV out there in the market. Um, now here you'll see our storage overhead. So this is a very nice feature they've done here with our Mercedes. So the storage here, also really nice sun visors. You'll notice the carbon fiber trim. Of course, this is no fault of Winnebago's. This is all going to be the, Mer the Mercedes Benz. Um, I've got the air conditioning on in the, in the, in the uh, car running because I've got to have this on in order to pull my slides in. So we'll do that in just a second. Uh, you do have push start for your starting and then your cruise control is all set here and you'll notice that you have distronics so you can actually set the following distance just like you could in an Essex. Um, you know, so all those higher end or, um, RVs that have the, you know, I want to follow that guy by 3.3 seconds, go ahead and hit set. That will happen for you, of course, reducing driver fatigue. Really nice sporty three-pointed steering column. And this touch screen is really cool. This operates uh, the one on the center console over here. And then this one is going to operate everything here in the center uh, here. And one of the things that's really interesting about this is that you have so many different things that you can show. So if you wanted to show uh, the trip odometer, you could. If you wanted to show how many miles per uh, gallon you were getting, you could. Uh, you could show how far you've driven. You could show how many miles per hour you're going. Um, so all of these things are really nice through these dual um, digital displays. And if you're not familiar with Mercedes-Benz, it is absolutely a place where they corner the market in uh, their digital displays. They have a really fantastic uh, navigation system. Everything here is touchscreen. All your controls are really easy. You've got app controls. Uh, you can actually change this so there's a number of different passengers that are driving. You could have each one of them have their own preferences set. Or even more importantly, let's say that you spend a lot of time in Arizona in the winter, but you spend a lot of time in Wisconsin in the summer. You could set that so that the profile had the maps and uh, radio stations for those two locations, as opposed to it being for people, you could actually have it be for places. So a really, really nice uh, setting here. And then just these little you know, nuances of these pockets, I think are super nice. Um, something I also um, really like about this RV is these door controls here. So as I mentioned earlier, you have memory settings and then there are also heated seats. So very nice. Um, and then you've got exterior mirror controls, all touchscreen. Just a really, really cool layout. And then here you'll notice also that your stock control for your turn signals and your windshield washers is great. And then you'll note here we have paddle shifting. So if you want to put this into a lower gear to climb a steep hill, you could actually downshift on the fly with your paddle shifters. So really, really cool uh, cockpit here. Um, if for some reason your, your key was to go, um, your battery was to go dead and you couldn't start the engine, it's really important to understand the start buttons here, but you don't hold the key up like you do in some of like the Audis or the BMWs. You actually put the key in down here. And I'm just gonna let that hang so that Jody can kind of show you where that goes. Because if you were a guy in a pinch who couldn't start his car, uh, that is a doozy to try to find. Uh, so Judy, Jody, I'm gonna go behind you and close up this slide so we can show the walking room. And then we're gonna head over into the next coach. But while, before we do, go ahead and just point down to this equalizer leveling system. 
Uh, this is another one of those features that you don't necessarily have to have. If you'd like to do a little more uh, cost savings, you could do a non-leveling uh, Navion. You also, uh, this coach does not have the uh, lithium ion battery pack, uh, which is optional as well. Um, so there's a lot of questions about lithium ion battery packs. Can I run my air conditioner if I have lithium batteries? No, you still would have to either have your generator running, uh, which is definitely one of the reasons we would recommend that, uh, that diesel generator that you can buy optionally because that's a great way to have not only a quiet generator going, it's also one that you don't have to put extra fuel into. You can just use the fuel that goes into the RV itself. So that's kind of a nice feature. Um, but understand that your batteries are going to be the third source of power for your operation. So your first source of power, if your generator on, will always trump even your 50 amp or your 30 amp plugins. The next is going to be your electrical plug-in. So when you're park side and you're plugged in, after that, what you'll have is your battery storage. So a lot of people are really hyper-focused on how much solar do I have and how many batteries I ha do I have. Well, if you're planning on camping at state parks and you're going to have, um, most state parks may or may not have a, variety or a, a vast supply of, um, of, uh, of sewer uh, campsites, so where you actually have sewer plug-ins, but most of them have water and power. Uh, and if that is the case, then you really don't need lithium ion uh, batteries unless you're planning on going off grid. And of course there, that would be the benefit. So again, this little 24V does not have uh, the lithium ion battery pack, but it's got just about everything else. It's got the upgraded full body paint. Um, it's got um, the upgraded couch. It's got um, the better windows, the dual pane windows. Uh, it has the upgraded generator. Um, so a lot of the things that you can get, it's got the equalizer leveling system. Um, so a lot of the things that you can get on this RV are on this RV. And that tends to be how we order them. But if we are looking to save a little bit of money, that's a, that's a place that we could save. We could maybe not get the generator, maybe not get full body paint. So all of those options are things that we're always happy to walk through with you. Um, okay, so let's go on to the next coach. So the next one that we're going to go to is Bay Mist, as I previously mentioned. Um, and like I said, this is completely closed. So this is a pretty interesting amount of space. Um, like I said, if you came to a place where you stopped and you had to camp and you didn't want to put your slide out, it's not quite as roomy, but you can still access the table and you can still, um, you could still sit down and make you know, a meal, access the restroom and really function quite similarly um, as you would with the slide out. So I think that that's a very nice point. Um, okay, so let's talk about some stuff on our way out here. So we had um, our slide control above the refrigerator. Uh, this is where we have our on and off for the chassis as well for, as for the coach here. And then as you can see, one of the things that's really nice about this is that your steps are start from the inside of the vehicle, but then they come out and they go all the way to the ground. So very easy access uh, to this coach for those of you who may have a harder time with mobility. And I usually turn the RVs off during my videos just to like, you know, keep the noise down. Uh, we're already, you know, right off of I-25 in the middle of Colorado. So really busy freeway, a great access point for those of you who would like to be able to pick up your RV from us and go camping. Um, but it's noisy and I have it on today because it's not that loud. It's just kind of nice to see what it's like to have it running. Um, now here you'll see we have a little exterior trash can, maybe a supply bin, depending on how you want to handle it place to maybe keep some bug spray and some, some uh, suntan lotion. It's of course, I wanted to mention that you could also black out uh, the entire interior of this coach. There's a shade here, and then there's another shade that goes in the windshield, and we'll look, take a look at that later. Again, these do pop out. As you can see, this one's all the way in, and then this one's been deployed, so the one on the left-hand side has popped out. Um, and again, that's one of the nicer features of the 24V is the cross ventilation that you get. Um, so we really like that feature. Um, down here in these bays, um, one of the things I do a lot of is measuring because I think it's important for people when they're trying to buy something to be able to know how deep their storage is. So that's about 19 and a half inches to the interior lip of that, uh, that little guy. I'm just gonna put my stuff down here. And then one of the things that's important to understand is the opening itself is about 15 inches. So the height's more but that opening is 15 inches. So if you're looking to buy any kind of uh, storage bins, you wanna remember that opening. 
and the opening here is just about 36 inches. There's our inverter up here. Um, the interior of this is wider than 36 inches, um, which is nice. Bay, it's a, it's a 42 inch interior bay. And I go through all this stuff because honestly, I don't know, I spent a lot of time at the container store with a measuring tape taking pictures. And if I could just watch a video and write it all down, it would make it really easy. Uh, here's that uh, optional generator. So the quiet diesel generator. And then here is your access for your propane. So we have a propane tank where you have a propane burner on the inside. And then also you have an access point on the outside. Uh, and that would be used to run, you know, an Outlander fire pit, uh, maybe a grill. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do, Jody? Here, it's been a little bit breezy, but I'll bet you we can get away with this. Let's go ahead and turn the coach off, batteries on. Got all right. So that's one of the things that's really nice about Avion too is take a look at that light. What a great placement. So when you're coming up to get into your coach at night, you have uh, your light so that you can get up and down your stairs. And then I just want to show this deployed. So if you had an Outlander fire pit that you wanted to sit around um, underneath your awning, it's really nice. Your awning is lit creating a really nice exterior living room for you. And of course, we always know that the party's on the passenger side and the business is on the driver's side. So great place for everyone to hang out when you pull in to camp. So we really like that feature as well. Uh, that awning cannot be deployed in wind. So it has a wind sensor. It's actually not like looking for a mileage per hour. It's looking for bounces. Uh, and it also can't be deployed with the engine running. So you can drive this RV with the slides extended, just saying. Um, you shouldn't, but if you need to move back and forth a little bit, nothing will happen. It won't throw the brake on it or anything. Okay, so another really nice little compartment here. Again, just talking about depth, you've got about 21 inches deep, and then our openings here are just about two feet. And then our height is gonna be, uh, I would say, eight and a half. I wouldn't go nine with a, with a, with a box. I don't think you'll fit anything in that opening it that's nine. But this gives us an opportunity to see this, um, this material here. This piece of steel was cut, uh, laser cut at Winnebago. And then this piece was actually uh, hand dipped in a 10, uh, 10 step process where it was e-coated. So instead of being painted, they literally drowned the metal in uh, solution uh, in 10 different containers. And if you've never seen it, it's so fascinating but it adheres to it uh, ionically. That way you don't get corrosion. And it's one of the things that really makes a unique product out of Winnebago. Now we realize that that bed was up a little, why, a little way. Why is that? Well, that's because for you that are golfers that need a little extra space, you can get uh, two sets, maybe even three sets of golf clubs in here. So at the narrowest point, we're looking at about 29, 30 inches across. And then at the deepest point, we're looking at about 33, 34 inches across. And then from a length standpoint, let's see how good I am. Woohoo! Been doing this for a while now. We are 54, almost 55 inches all the way down in terms of depth. So really, really cool amount of space. And then in terms of height, we're looking at just about 20 inches tall there. Um, this would be a great place to keep your golf clubs, a great place to keep your uh, lawn chairs, your paddle boards, and it's just so nice that you've got access points to both sides here. Uh, so really, really cool feature. Um, there are putt lights here as well, so we do have lighting in this cabinet. Um, and again, full, uh, full paint finish, 5,000 pound towing capacity, great for flat towing, not anything too heavy, don't get crazy on this. Uh, you will certainly notice it going up a hill, but most of these coaches are, um, You'll see them driving around. They're pulling things like, I love like a convertible Mini Cooper or something like that very easily. Like a little roller skate would be a great RV uh, to put on the back of this. So here's where we have our water station. As you can see, we have an outside shower. We've got all of our plugins for both power and water, one convenient location. Uh, this does have the Truma system, so you are going to have endless hot water, which is very nice. 
Uh, your black waist uh, flush is right here, super easy. And then you can see your water tanks here. And again, uh, we have our propane tank right here on this side. But as I mentioned, you know, the business is in the back, but the party's in the front. So they do put that quick connect for you on the other side. Uh, another thing I wanted to mention about uh, this coach is that you also have um, these really fantastic um, steps to get into the coach. Now, where is this important? Well, you know, if you've looked at other manufacturers, they aren't very durable. Um, and that's a big deal because this is something you're gonna be standing on, jumping on, getting on, um, in and out of your vehicle all of the time. So very nice that they have um, made and manufactured a great step for us that also has a place to put dog leashes. So if you've got, you know, Fido, wanna get Fido tied up while you're, you know, going out for a hike maybe, but you wanna get him close to his water dish and in the shade, you've got a nice little leash access point. And then you also have a uh, lumbar support here, which can be adjusted higher as well as in and out. So you can change that place of where it's hitting you in the small of your back for when you're driving. And of course, that's just another Mercedes-Benz feature. Oh, where do you put the diesel? put the diesel in right here. Um, <laughs> I built my own RV and I had uh, sold Mercedes forever. I sold Sprinters forever. And I was at the gas station uh, and my boyfriend was going on a road trip and he'd asked me to fill it up. Well, I have people who do that for me, you know. I send Rob or Brandon to go fill up a coach. I don't have to go do that. So I pull into the gas station and I could not figure out where to put the diesel. I looked like that lady walking around the Tesla with the gas tank or the gas thing in her hand. And I had to literally go on and watch a YouTube video to figure out where it is. So there you go. Okay, so we talked about the steps. Let's just run through these compartments again. You're going to find that these mirror both on uh, the D and the V. So you're going to have the same measurements on these two. And this is the 24D. And this is going to be the Bay Mist uh, exterior. Notice that your Aqua Go, your Truma station is here on the side. Same thing, tankless hot water. Also with the optional 3200 uh, kilowatt or 3200 watt quiet diesel generator. A little different storage here. So definitely not golf clubs. Still good storage. But when we're talking about depth here, we're talking about uh, just about 20 inches and then in terms of width we've got about 32 and a half so definitely different and then in terms of height we're about 25 inches tall so very different uh, like I said that V is really great for people who golf a lot or want to put paddle boards in there and then about 18 by 18 in terms of the storage uh, compartment and its opening but still, you know, why not make use of that space even if it's not quite as grand as the other. And then here, same base storage, same water tank situation, same propane tank. Uh, but you'll notice that this slide is the full width, full width of the uh, RV, except for, of course, where it says Navion. So a little bit of a different uh, layout, your Blackwater inlets right here. Uh, so we've got to move it off of the slide, of course. And then I'm just going to close these up real quick and then we're going to go inside of this one and take a look at some of the differences so again similarities gas tank is in the same location same fantastic seating configuration Jody if you would like to get in there and just take a look at that seat And the seat controls on the door are actually copyrighted by Mercedes-Benz, which is why you don't find them anywhere else. If you'd like to use that configuration uh, with the door configuration, they hold a patent to that. Um, everyone thinks that Mercedes-Benz is a fantastic car manufacturer. Uh, all of their money, I shouldn't say all, but a lot of it comes in patents. They are the kings of patents. They have uh, patents for so many things and they sell them to the other car people very smart company. Um, so when you see these rims, you know, people talk about aluminum versus steelies. They stay quieter. Uh, they get less hot. They make less reverberation. So 
Um, this is a, a nice aluminum alloy wheel versus if you take a look at our video van, you'll see what a steel wheel looks like. A uh, big differentiation. Um, so I know it looks, you know, not as attractive, of course, as that beautiful, um, you know, aluminum finish, but it's also function. Um, so here in the front, you'll see we've got our camera in the front, uh, and that's going to help us with both lane tracking and our Distronic. Got your big mirrors here with turn signal indicators. Everyone knows where you're coming. And then as we've got the step locked out here as well. And then Jody, if you don't mind, go ahead and hop on in. As always, I like to start my videos from the inside out. So this is the 24D. And you know, this is definitely our most popular selling model. Um, the reason I wanted to do the V versus D video today was just to kind of show why. Um, so we mentioned that there was a curtain to separate the back portion of the V from the front. There's also a curtain that hangs here to all of these connecting points to house this bed. So um, this is a really big bed. Um, and I know we took measurements on the other one, so we would not be doing ourselves any justice uh, not to do the same here. But this is definitely a little more of a traditional bed in the Murphy style. 75 inches long and 59 inches across. And I would say that that partition that folds, we're just at 59. So this is pretty much a square, 59 by 59. And then of course you've got that extra headboard room. Uh, now speaking of headboards, so as we talked about Harmony versus Harmonious, a little more white lacquer finish throughout the coach, a little brighter, and great storage up here on both sides. You've got reading lights. Um, you also have uh, nightstands on both sides here. So you've got two USB ports as well as two 110 outlets as well. And then no cross ventilation, but still ventilation next to one window. That would be my window. And then here's the magic. And this, folks, is why this floor plan is so incredibly popular. So uh, these can snap into place so they don't fall out, but they're really easy to install. You just push them down there. They have a kind of a natural cleft that they've built into this. Uh, Stitchcraft, once again, made by Winnebago. Uh, when I say made by Winnebago, why does that matter? Well, let's say that you're uh, Fido, who you left tied outside for too long, wanted to get revenge and ate your cushion. You can just go onto this cushion and get this little number here. Call Stitchcraft and ask them to make you a new cushion. You can have them make you a new table. You could just have them make you an extra table because you liked it so much you wanted to use it at home in your backyard. Um, but so, no, in all seriousness, um, one of the main benefits that you have with Winnebago is that all of these components that are made there have serial numbers and can be recreated. They have bolts of fabric. It's incredible. And there's literally like this whole like long row of women in, with sewing machines hand crafting these, these coaches for you. So really, really fantastic. Now, one of the big differences here is going to be in this rear bathroom. So Jody, if you don't mind, take her on back and we'll take a look at this rear bathroom. So living space is much bigger here because we don't have a mid bath and our shower is very conveniently tucked away. Uh, we've got a really nice skylight here. And then again, that rod where you could still hang all of your bathing suits. You still have the shower door that opens and closes. Uh, right here, you've got a really nice ability to kind of close everything up. And we still have that same feature where you'll be able to put your tissue box in here, just underneath. And then a little more storage here as well. So pretty deep uh, storage across, and then we've got our table stowed on the left-hand side as usual. So nice deep storage there. I am going to grab my measuring tape and measure how much uh, depth you have there. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then here, look at this pantry space. So everybody has their own way that they like to camp and things that are important to them, which is why whenever someone asks me you know, what's the best coach for me? We have to have a long conversation and really kind of talk through um, goals and ambitions and places that you'd like to go because it's a, it's a really heavy answer. I mean, there's a lot of things to consider. Um, 
I don't tend to have a lot of opinions as to what you should buy. If you call me and you're asking me to help you look at an RV, um, I'm going to typically ask you a lot of questions and you're going to end up telling me what you'd like to buy. I'm not going to tell you what you need to buy. I'm going to ask you questions and describe what's available and you'll make your own decision. Um, and that's really important because there's a lot of things to think about. Okay, so 32 and a half inches across. That is a lot of hanging space, um, but different hanging space, right? Um, I do love the way that Winnebago does this nice job of blending their wallpaper into this door here. It actually keeps this room feeling a little bit more open and roomy. Um, okay, so now that we've got this all in, let's do, we can just take a quick look at drawers. We'll notice that the, um, this drawer is um, very similar to what you saw on the V. All full extension again. Lots and lots of storage room. You'll notice though, that we've moved the microwave down below and we now have two overhead cabinets. So a little bit different in that layout. And again, that's because we don't have that mid bath. We've got a little bit longer galley. So let's take a look when I say longer galley. Do you guys remember we measured the other one? It was like 36 inches. Well, now we're looking at 56. So this counter space between the sink if you were using uh, the full sink, you'd still have 27 inches of counter space. And then at the deepest depth here, we are looking at just over uh, 23 inches, almost 24 inches deep. Um, and then of course we've put the microwave down below, not to waste space. We still have a very huge drawer for storage and very ample space. I'm sorry. Can you that again, oh, Mercedes is talking to us. Don't talk to us, Mercedes. We're ignoring you. Oh, cool again, I didn't mention that we do have a whole house water filter on both of these RVs. So that's important. And again, this is definitely our number one selling option. And there's a few different reasons. First of all, we can bring these little bad boys out so we can sit down next to our table. I could turn the table this way, sit down here, relax, watch a movie, have some cocktails. I could sit here and play games, have a little wider space, maybe for some cribbage or some poker. I can lower this down and turn this into a, a bed area. And then this has three seat belts as opposed to two. So this will have seat belts for up to five passengers. And then you can go ahead and just take a look at that top bunk area. Again, Joe, you're gonna be the same on both RVs. And then I do wanna kind of go over the storage above the bed or above the dinette. So this booth dinette gives you a lot of room. You can fit a big party around this table. Um, so maybe not as much of a couple's coach as more, maybe more of a family coach. Um, so depending on what your functionality is and how many people you're planning on entertaining um, with that cab over bunk, you have quite a bit of extra sleeping for both, um, both models. But this coach having the extra dinette that converts into a bed does give you an extra sleeping area so you could have more people camping in your RV. Sounds terrible. I meant wonderful. <laughs> you know the rules. Six for drinks, four for dinner, two to sleep. Doesn't matter how big it is. That's why they make the Prevo. All right, so let's take a look at this. So let's talk. Um, okay, we do a footprint. We need to stop somewhere where we can't put our slide out. What's gonna happen? Well, there's a few different things. I could make this a bed, so I could still sleep here. I could sleep on the couch, right? And I still have the cab over bunk that I could sleep in. So maybe not quite as comfortable as the 24V would be with the slide in, um, but still access to the bathroom, right? So I can still get in and out. And then as I mentioned earlier, with this wall slide being so big, you really have um, a pretty fantastic amount of, uh, of living space when that slide is deployed. So again, today we've looked at the 24V versus the 24D. Um, we're gonna go ahead and step out and sign off. Let me open that door for you, Jody. Um, but you know, thank you so much uh, for tuning in. I'm sure that I forgot 17 million things and I didn't do a good job or maybe I did a great job. Um, whatever it is, I love the feedback. So please, if you uh, liked this video, didn't like this video, had questions, wanna buy one of these RVs, whatever it might be, um, 
put notes down below, like our videos, and call me if you need anything at all. Uh, again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. It's a beautiful, sunny day. Uh, we'd love to get you on the road and camping. Thank you so much for spending some of your Monday with us. Have a great day.